Today, I wish to consider one sum from a chapter of Accounting for Debentures. The sum is from exercise. Observe the sum on the screen. Amreli Oils Limited issued on 1 1 2019 98 10,008% mortgage debentures of rupees 100 each to raise debt capital on the following terms. So you are given the terms for issue and redemption of debentures. Debentures will be redeemed at 10% premium. So, debenture of 100 is to be paid, redeemed with 10% premium. So, amount redeemable per debenture is 110. Debentures will be redeemed on 31st of December 2004 with an option to debenture holders to choose any of the following modes of redemption. So, at the time of redemption, debenture holders are given following options. How many options are given? Four options. First option, those debenture holders who wants to have equity shares can get an equity share of 10 each and a premium of 2 per share. So those debenture holders who opt for obtaining or getting equity shares of my company, I am going to issue equity shares to them at a price of 12 each. The another option issue 10% preference shares of rupees 100 is at 20% premium. Those debenture holders who wants to have preferences will be given preferences of my company. The nominal value of the preference share is 100. They will be given at 20% premium. So issue price for preference share is 120. Third option, issue 6% debentures of rupees 100 each at 10% discount. The third option that old debenture holders can have new debentures of my company. But this new debenture will be given a 10% discount. So issue price of this new debenture is 90. Cash payment on redemption. So those who are willing to have cash, they will be given cash. Different debenture holders exercise different options as per the details given below. 4200 debenture holders accepted equity shares. So 4,200 debenture holders will be paid at the rate of 110 per debenture. They desire to get the equity shares. The issue price of equity share is 12 each. So number of equity shares to be issued, if you want to calculate, how to calculate? 4,200 into 110 is the amount payable. Divided by 12 rupees per share, you will get the number of equity shares to be issued to redeem 4,200 debenture holders. Next. 3,000 debenture holders accepted preference shares. So 3,000 debenture holders will be paid 110 per debenture. So 3,000 into 110 is the total payable amount. That total payable amount will be given by issue of preference shares at a price of 120. So to find out the number of preference shares, 3,000 into 110 divided by 120 are the number of preference shares that will be issued to redeem. 3,000 debenture holders. Next, 1,800 debenture holders accepted new debentures. So, 1,800 debenture holders are to be paid at rupees 110 per debenture. So, total amount payable is 1,800 into 110. How this amount has been paid? That amount, that amount has been paid by issue of new debenture at 10% discount. So, issue price is 90. So, to find out the number of debentures issued, you are required to calculate 1800 into 110 divided by 90. You will get the number of debentures to be issued. 1000 debenture holders accepted a cash. So if you make a total 4200 plus 3000 plus 1800 plus 1000, that amounts to 10,000 debentures. This is how redemption of 10,000 debentures has to be made. Write the journal entries at the time of issue and redemption of debentures. So we are required to write down the entry for issue of debentures. That entry will be recorded on 1st of January 1998 and we are also required to write down the redemption entry that will be on 31st of December 2004. Let me first write down the issue. 
For writing the issue entry, I have issued 10,000 debentures of rupees 180. So bank account debit 10,000 into 100. The redemption is to be made at 10% premium. So loss on redemption is 10%. So loss on redemption per debenture is rupees 10. So 10,000 into 10 is the loss on issue of debentures. To debentures account credit liability. To debenture redemption premium account credit. So first entry that I write is the issue entry. Observe it. Bank account debit 10,000 into 100. Loss or issue of debentures account debit 1 lakh. To 8% debentures account credit liability. To debenture redemption premium account credit 1 lakh. This is how issue entry gets recorded. B. Debentures issue at par redeemable at 10% premium. Here I have written narration with abbreviation. Please tolerate it. I will show you the entire sum with narration at the end. Next. Now I have to write down redemption entry. So first let me find out the total amount payable to debenture holders. See. Number of debentures are 10,000. Every debenture holder is to be paid 10% premium. So amount redeemable part debenture is 110. So 10,000 into 110 this is the total redeemable amount. So 11 lakhs is the total redeemable amount. Now how this amount is redeemed or that how many options are given? You are given 4 options. Of the first option, issue equity shares. So first option is to issue equity shares. So redemption by equity shares. How the equity shares are to be given? At at a premium of rupees 2 per, per equity share, so face value 10, security premium 2, so issue price is 12. Second option is to give preference shares, so redemption by 10% preference shares. What is the price at which the preference shares are going to be issued, issued for redemption? 20% premium, so 100 plus 20, but 20 is the issue price. Third option is to give 6% new debentures. The issue price is at 10% discount, so 100 minus 10%, 90 is the issue price. And the fourth option is to make payment by cash. Now, after these four options given, how many debenture holders have opted for which option? Look at it. 4,200 debenture holders desire to get equity shares. 3,000 debenture holders desire to get preference shares. They accepted the preference shares of redemption. 1,800 debentures accepted new debentures. They desire to have the new debentures, 6% debentures of the company at 10% discount. And 1,000 holders desire to get cash. So this is how the options are exercised. Now what is the amount payable on options? So look at it. 1000 into 110 is the amount payable by cash. 3000 into 110, 330,000 is payable by preference shares, by your preference shares. 1800 into 110 is the amount payable by giving new debentures. And 4200 into 110 is the amount payable by issue of equity shares. So this is the amount payable under these various options. Now, let me first work out the number of shares issued. So 30,000 is to be paid by giving preference at the price of 120. So 120 gets paid by giving one preference share how many preferences are required to be given for making a total payment of 330,000? So 330,000 divided by 120, 2750 is to be paid by giving preferences. Now, this is how the payment is to be made by, made by giving preferences. What is the preference share capital? 2750 into 100 is the preference share capital. And 20 is the security premium. So 2750 into 20 is the security premium. 
this is how 3 lakh 30 thousand is to be going is going to be reading by issue of preference share the amount that credited into preference share capital account is to be 75000 the amount that credit that gets credited into security premium account is 55000 this is how number of preference shares to be issued for reading 3000 debenture holders is being worked out now here 198000 is to be paid what is the issue price for debenture 10% discount 90 so by giving one debenture, 90 gets paid. So to pay 90, one debenture is to be issued. How many debentures are required to be issued for making a total payment of 1,98,000? So 1,98,000 divided by 90, that are the number of debentures to be issued. The face value of debenture issued is 2,200 into 100. And the debenture discount deducted there from is 200 into 222,000 debenture discount deducted. So 198,000 is paid by giving new debentures. Now, third option. 462,000 is payable by APD share. What is the issue price of APD share? 12 rupees per share. So 12 rupees gets paid by giving one APD share. So how many APD shares need be paid, need be given for making a payment of 462,000? So 460,000 divided by 12, 38,500 equity shares are to be given. So 38,500 into 10 which is the equity share capital. Security premium 38,500 into 2 is the equity share premium. So 462,000 gets paid by giving equity shares in this fashion. Now I have prepared for it. Now I have to write down the redemption entries. So first redemption entry is debentures account debit. Face value, premium on redemption of debentures account debit, that is also redemption premium is a liability, that liability gets paid, so it is to be debited. So, on date of redemption, 8% market debentures account debit, debenture redemption premium account debit to debenture holders account credit, 11 lakhs, this is the amount to be paid to debenture holders. Being debenture redemption at 10%, being resolved to redeem debentures at 10% redemption pay. Now, this debenture holders 11 lakhs are going to be paid in this way. So, let me start with the journal entries. First entry, debenture holders account debit, 4,62,000. To equity share capital account credit, 3,85,000. To security premium account credit, 77,000. B. 38,500 equity shares of 10 each issue at a, two, at a premium of rupees 2 to 4,000 debenture holders or to redeem 4,200 debentures. Next, debenture holders account debit, 330,000 being paid by way of preferences. Preferential capital account credit, 275,000. To security premium account credit, 55,000. B. 275010 10% preference of the design is issued at 20% to redeem 3000 debentures, 40,000 debentures. Next, debenture holders account debit 198,000, debenture discount account debit 22,000. This is a discount on issue of new debentures. To 6% new debentures account credit, 2 lakh 20,000 being 2,200 new debentures of rupees 100 is issued at 10% discount to 1,800 debenture old debenture holders. This is how the redemption entry by issue of debentures gets recorded. Next cash payment, debenture holders account debit, to bank account credit, being cash paid to 1,000 debentures. After recording all these entries, let me demonstrate all the entries at one place for your better understanding. Look at it. So this is how all the entries are recorded. Notice that I have not made a total because this issue entry is in past and the redemption entry is at present, so I have not put. So this is how journal entries for issue and redemption gets recorded. Just observe it.
I have tried to explain you this. I feel that you are a follower. Thanks to all of you.